Hey guys, welcome back. Screen we point at you for another video for Ray Shadows. Hopefully you're doing well and hopefully you're looking after yourselves and having a great start to the week. I wanted to go over today's video and go back over my new build for the one and only uh free mythical that I did pull from a free shard, which was from the remembrance uh overall. Uh let me have a look which one it was. Uh yeah, so I want to go back over um, Blood Moor's kit and rebuild her and I took some feedback from the community which I really really appreciate as well where people do use her in other content especially in Hydra and I've actually booked out her A1 and A2 I think I'm just missing one book which actually actually has increased her attack a bit more so um, I was testing a load of things this week or hard average monkeys yesterday um and obviously this is going to be the replay of it and i'm thinking now that she is good enough for me to rebuild the team around her and hard now i kind of done the same with all my teams so far uh for example nightmare i've rebuilt my team to be around carnage and then for brutal marius and uh thorn right for uh which is been like super super well both of them are 500 million so now i've got to try and get hard to 500 million which is uh not a easy achievement when you don't have such a stats account you can definitely see that the the tiers of damage is starting to drop off once i start looking at hard which is you know it is what it is but trying to get to my target which is 500 million damage so let me go ahead and show you the team the team that I run and how I'm going to change things for next week and uh, hopefully try and prove to get one step closer to that 500 million I will also be dropping a video uh, next week uh, this week or next week to go over my brutal team as well and the case I guess I guess on the road to 1 billion right because we're trying to get the 1 billion but trying to get all my teams 500 first seems to be like a good milestone to get so Let's go ahead, let's get into it then, and I'll do the whole breakdown. I'll drop timestamps down below and etc. Okay, so you can see that we changed the team slightly from last week. Dropped Hugo for Monkey, and I dropped uh, uh, Salad for Chris to see if there was any difference. We did increase our damage, which was good news. You can see here, uh, uh, Salad's on my head, which might go back in for next week. It looked like he was doing quite a bit of damage, and I think he could be. A good team up actually with uh the dwarf so uh sorry with the orc as well to be honest with the aoe so we'll see about that one um so we're gonna go into this and we'll talk about the setup so so you guys can understand the roles i'm trying to fill and trying to come up with right so uh we've got iron hides in here obviously for the veil support he's gone into a nine piece protection this week i him away from the merciless his damage just wasn't high enough so we're trying to increase the rest of the damage of my team so he's gone in a nine piece protection he's obviously got block buffs increased defense as well which is very very useful for our ability etc lydia's in here obviously as damage dealer defense down weaken uh so block buffs and the christian rem obviously uh Hive Lords in here as DPS, HU Burns, and increase attack to allow the orc to do more damage. And Song Wong as well, because of both attack base. You can see there Song Wong is a block buff champion. And Strip as well. Krisk is the, the, the tank, the unit. He's to deal with there with mischief, to deal with suffering, uh, to deal with uh Raph's hits and etc. And then you've got the orc, which is just in here to do pure DPS overall so that's basically my thinking we do have two hex sets here which i'll try and maybe get lydia into a nine piece protection next week to increase damage on damage dealers which should be something i'll increase as well and then i guess i'll swap out some of the damage dealers i'm actually thinking about dropping block buffs because we have enough survivability with um against chris this week so i'm thinking if i swap in iron hide for duchess this will help me keep up my increase attack a long war uh which is going to be really really useful um and then chris will come in here to stand the veils 
and then hopefully that will help a bit more as well with like true fears etc still see true fears being a bit of a problem overall as well so that's what i'm kind of thinking and then damage dealers i might have a bit of a change as well i do kind of still want block buffs in there and only one i can think of is you go i guess with the defense down and block bust but uh she's i don't want to be dropping lydia and losing that christian realm if i'm honest and then that put potentially all that protection anyway let me run this through with all the music and etc you guys can go ahead and see this and i'll jump to an end of this and join you up you guys after this as well
so we're just under 400 million you know it's not too shabby you know the team is definitely auto if i wanted to make it auto um there's not much problems with this but you can see here that dps champions like hive lord is really low still uh song wong as well really low um to be honest song wong doesn't do a lot of damage but he does bring a lot of utility with that block buff so that's what i was kind of thinking so i'm thinking from looking at all this now i guess uh what i might try is drop in a force for duchess uh which will bring me the veils so then we drop iron hide for i want to say salad but then you've got free spirit nukas in here and salads did a bit of a test on him in savage because i made a mistake with the slayer and he did generally was like doing quite a lot of damage so i'm thinking maybe salad comes in but then who do we use for block boss which is a very interesting one because when we're looking at my champions with a block buffs lydia does have like a single version of it so i can definitely kind of use that to my advantage and we can kind of yeah try use that around it i guess and then you got here i guess um i guess we can try running packmaster i guess maybe that's an option as well Instead of Duchess, we come in with Packmaster. Maybe you just don't bring a counter to that or try bringing a Samuel as well. That could be an option. Um, but then it's like healing, swipeability. I guess if you've got Chris in there, I mean, that might be an option actually. I might try Packmaster out well, because it's got Termito as well. So yeah, that could be something we try. Mm, Russell Boss was champion heals and front of my 50% of my HP. Yeah, it could be something potentially that might be something we might try actually. Um hmm, maybe we'll try Packmaster in instead of Song Wong. And then we'll try out something else as well next week. So you can see, yeah, there's a there's a few options in there which we might play around with. I could also just bring Yugo in. And then try and find a weakened damage dealer. Uh, a damage dealer who hits really hard like Flash Destroyer. But unfortunately you can only get one. Uh, which is a uh, interesting one. Let's have a look. Weaken. Uh, AoE. Uh, weaken. I mean there's not much there. Oh hold on I think we've still got block boss on. Oh, okay. I mean, we also got Suzanne as well. Decrease speed on AoE, defense down, and weaken. And it also has heal reduction. Oh, that's heal reduction. Wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, heal reduction. So we're thinking weaken. I mean, he could come in, right? Could come in. He's got. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about him. Hmm. Yes, I mean there is a Venus, right? Might be an option. Uh, but so yeah, that's, there's a few options there, but I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to have a think about it as well, because I'm kind of thinking I want to try and bring an ally attack as well to benefit from the orc as well. That's also what I'm also thinking. All right, let me show you all the gear of all these champions, and then I'll let you guys go. We'll start off with the MVP and the the big boy. Uh, you can hear my little in the background. So I apologize already. Um, there's a AoE hex set here. I do really like AoE hex set on him, and I've checked protection already. I don't have a six piece protection or ferals, I guess. Uh, so these are stats. I do want to try and get him up to 300 speed, but that's something we'll work on once I've got a bit of spare oil sitting around once the arena champions are done. There's a lot, honestly, to still. Kind of go into my teams and etc. Then we have um, Lydia's Masteries, six star blessing, which could be Christian Rem. And then again, the Hex set coming in, which I think she will go to protection next week. I think we've got protection. Maybe we got a protection amulet we, we can try. Yeah, we do have a protection amulet, so she might go into that, which will increase the damage a bit more. Then we'll show you her gear. So these are her masteries. These are Hydra Focus. 
with uh, the cycle uh, of violence, etc., which is really, really useful. Uh, I'm not going to book a second form. Uh, you can see here we're missing uh, just one book. We're just missing one book here as well. And these are stats. We're trying to go as slow as possible, so I'm probably going to rebuild her. Oh, sorry. Uh, I probably will rebuild her next week and try and increase attack a bit more and drop at the uh, speed down a bit more. Uh, so we can, yeah, pump these stats up a bit more. Um, it's a work in progress. Don't get it wrong. It's not the most OP build yet, but we are working on it. Uh, then we have Aphos, which is probably going to go back in the vault. Honestly, I can't find any use for this guy. I like the utility from him. It just doesn't hit hard enough. These are his stats overall as well. I need to show you the orc actually, don't I? Because I had my head in the way. Uh, so we're trying to cruelty. He's not booked out. I don't really want to waste books on him to find out if he's going to be a, a solid damage dealer or not. To be honest, like mythical books are very expensive. I'd rather just save for the next one. Uh, she was a bit easier to book because of she only needs four books for the second one, so I didn't mind wasting four books as much. And she definitely is showing progress for me to work around. Uh, is there anyone else I would like to show you? I guess Song Wong, right? Song Wong Spoil, who is built for Live Arena. These are his stats. 7200 attack, 288 speed, 338 critical damage, 300 accuracy, ignore defense, and savage build as well. He can do more damage, um, but you know, probably next week I'll drop him and maybe we'll just test a run for the new rotation against uh, that. If we're gonna drop, if we drop block boss, we have to bring H burn in to counter the poison cloud anyway, so that's going to be something I'll sit down for next week and do my theory crafting and try and increase my damage even more. Anyway, that's it from me today. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Grim. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.